Okay, what I'm going to do here is do some grafting. These here are Maxifort, Maxifort, um, well, they're tomatoes right now. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut the tops off of these. Just have just this right here uh, at about a 65 degree angle. Then I'm going to do the same thing. These right here, now, now those right here, those are Mr. Stripey's. Them right there. And those right there is what, what I call a Lois Greer. I think it's a beefsteak or something. And these right here are Romas. Yeah, Romas. Them right there. Those are Romas, those are Lois Greer's, those are Romas. Mr. Stripey's. <clears throat> and what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this leaf off and let that leaf off. And just leave the main stem is what I'm going to do. Just leave the main stem with one leaf on it. And then I'm going to uh, throw the, the tops of these. I'm going to throw them all out. Because we don't need them. I'll probably whack them. I whack it about right in there, uh, about an inch up or so. And then I'll whack these off, about right in there. But I'll keep the top, and I'm going to put the top on that. And I'm going to use these little clips here, or little silicone clips. Here you can use super glue, um, but I haven't ever tried it. And this is the first time I'm doing this, so I'm not going to use the glue this time. And then after I get it all done, I'm going to go in there and put it in a. Uh, a humidity well you know a seed starter with a heater on it and try to keep it about 85 degrees for about four or five days we'll see what to do you can believe it or not but these things right here are only two weeks old from seed to that and two weeks but most of it was in the hydroponics there and it's really quick but anyway i'm gonna get off this thing right now and i want to trim all the um what her razor blade i got a uh, uh broke a straight razor and two, and I want to cut, cut cut all the leaves off of these things and prepare them to go over there. Uh, I've cleaned everything up with alcohol, so everything should be pretty sterile. And I'll, I'll get back when I get that get all that in. Okay, this is what I got so far. I've cut the tops off of the uh, max forts, and I've trimmed these things down. Um, so what I'm going to do? I'm going to cut these things off, and I'm going to put them over here. I would do it with the camera on, but I I ain't going to wait up hold it. I got a tripod but too much trouble. <laughs> this is just uh, documented anyway. Anyway I got those things at about a, about a 65 degree angle on, on the cut. I want to hurry up and get them on there before they bleed to death. Okay here's what I've done. I um, they all fit. The stalks fit pretty good on all of them except for this one right here. And uh, the bottom was bigger than the top but these right here were way too big so I couldn't use these. But anyway, I got uh, two Mr. Stripies and two Romas. Uh, that'd be good because I'm not really sure what these things are anyway. Uh, but um, uh, the silicone clips fit um, all of them really well, except for that right there. And, what, and when you cut them, it's kind of like sap coming out of a tree. So I figured it'd be best to get it on there as quick as you can. And I kind of hold it up to the sun there and... They look like they all got pretty good contact. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to put them in the little hospital thing I got made up. The little, um, they're going to get royal treatment here for um, the next four or five days or probably a week. I had to, if I get two of them to live, it'll tickle me to death. Uh, one will really tickle me to death. But, uh, I don't think the success rate on these things are real good, but um, anyway, I'm gonna take them in there and uh, put them in the um, put them in put them in a real dark spot and keep them moistened and uh, spray them. Uh, just keep them misted, and we'll see what comes out in about a week. They all might be dead, and maybe not. We'll see.